Hello viewers, today I will teach you how to make this beautiful dress for a baby who is 0 to 7 months and when doing this work, we are going to use uh, a crochet twist is four milli a hoop which is 4 millimeters in size we are also going to use another smaller which is 0 0.90 for putting uh, these beans that you can see here we also need a safety pin for the belt for uh, negotiating the belt across this area you need some scissors to cut our work here and there you also need a uh, a uh, uh, BB yarn, this is a hundred percent a cleric. We also need some two beans for decorating the belt. Now, uh, this uh, work will take around uh, one day, sorry, around four hours to complete, and you need uh, one and a half of this to complete the whole project when it comes to the back we have not we are not going to use the buttons but you are going to make a lace this will be used to connect here instead of buttons and the bb will be good to go welcome to my tutorial and kindly do subscribe to my work and if there are errors in my window taking, do understand. I'm just very new in the YouTube, but I'm learning slowly by slowly. Thank you. For those who are teachers and parents, you may realize that the learners are possessing this beautiful talent. Kindly help them to nurture. Uh, you can use the good reader and advise them to go in the YouTube. And when they go in the YouTube, they will be able to learn this uh, work. And you provide for them the needed materials for nurturing this talent so that they can turn it to be profession. Thank you for listening to me. Let us start working. I've already made 84 chains, so we are going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and put our first double crochet at chain 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, we put it right here, and then we continue putting double crochet in every stitch that it follows. Continue to put, sorry, continue to put a double crochet in every stitch that we have made until we get to the last one. Just move slowly for the first round. We have to be very sure and you just move slowly. Continue working until the end of the round. We've arrived at the end of the round. This is how our work looks like. So we are going to put the last double crochet. Then chain three, one, two, three. Then turn your work 
and the foot and double crochet in the next stitch at this junction the chain count as and double crochet so you chain one you leave those two there you skip this come to the next foot and double crochet then put two double crochet together Another double crochet. So you have four in total. Chain one, move to the next in double crochet. Then put two in double crochet together. Make a set of four. Then chain one. You can see the pattern that we are writing at. So skip this, go to the next. Put it two together. Remember, we are expanding the yoke or growing the yoke of the dress. Sorry. We put two together here. Always correct mistakes. So you continue making that pattern until the end of the round then I will need you to show you what we are going to do. We have reached the end of the round and this is what we have for our yoke. So we are going to do the final stitch uh, you can see here we have two so we are just going to skip this one and they put sorry we are going to put the, uh, the excess that we have we are going to to ignore it but we are not going to put a slip double crochet here we will put on the last chain here just to get rid of the excess one chain then from there we chain three one two three turn your work and when you turn your work make sure you just move chain one sorry we made a mistake a slide okay this is how our work looks like and uh, that will form the basis of our yoke so we are going to chain one the complete this round once you chain one you skip this then come and put a double crochet there if you realize you have an excess stitch here just ignore it and go to the last chain and where we made the chain and put a double crochet in the last stitch so that is how our work looks like that's how our work looks like. Now we are going to chain three and turn one, two, three. Then we turn our work. When we turn our work, we put our next double crochet there. And then the chain here count, remember. So you chain one and move inside and put double crochet hole through in every chain. But remember to respect where you meet a chain you respect it by putting another chain or by chain, uh, crocheting a chain like this one here you just put a chain and then proceed proceed until the end of this round This is what we are getting. We have chain one. Then move on. Move on to the next. No addition. Just a free round. You hunt. You do the addition in the next round. So continue working until the end of this round.
continue working, we will meet at the end of the round. Okay, we have arrived at the end of the round. So we are going to put our last double crochet here. Then we chain three, one, two, three, and we turn our work. And then when we turn, we put another double crochet here so that we can respect the two standing double crochet on this side. Then we chain one. We move now to the pairs where we are going to increase. And this is how you are going to increase your work. Chain one, uh, sorry, put the first in double crochet. In the second in double crochet, we put the two in double crochet together. That is the increase. Then you move on. So you can see we have increased and now we, we had four, now we have five. So you chain one and move on and to the other pair. And after doing the second, double crochet, you increase the, you put the two together in the same, and then move on. So you have increased your work. Remember, we are growing the yoke of this baby dress. Chain one, move to the next pair. The first in double crochet, so in the second in double crochet, you put the two together. That is the increase so that the yolk can grow and develop for our dress. So you continue with this pattern until the end of this round. After making finishing this round, you come back making free double crochet like we did in this row here. Then from there, I will meet you to see what we are going to do next. This is how far we have gone. We have made the free double crochet round that I told you to make. Now we are going to, I have already turned my work. I want to show you how you will be increasing when it comes to the set here, this set that we have. So you can see we have five double crochet. So you, you in the middle double crochet, you put the two together, two double crochet together to do the increase in order to do the increase. You can see what I've done. Then you continue and you make or a crochet to the two remaining double crochet. So at the end of it all, you will have one, two, three, you will have six in double crochet because you have increased one, then you continue working and in, it, in, in, in the middle double crochet, that is where we are doing the increase because we have five. So we have five double crochet here. So when we come here, this is the middle one, we put two double crochet together. Remember, we are still growing the yoke of the baby dress. So that is it, continue working until the end of the round. You can make around uh, 10, sorry, uh, three more rounds alternating, free double crochet, and then increasing at the middle. Okay, this is how far we have gone in our work. So we are going to I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Remember, we have this in double crochet here and we are handing. So we are going to look for the center. You see, we crochet one, then two, then three. Now, in the third chain, that is where we are increasing our work. That is what I've done in these two blocks which are here. 
So after increasing, you just move on, move on, and finish the set. Then chain one. I'm going to illustrate once more. We put a double crochet here. Then another double crochet in the second chain. In the third chain, we put two double crochet together to do the increase. Then we continue. Continue working. Then one again, one, two. In the third chain, we do the increase that is, we put two together, and then we continue working. So we we'll finish this round and then make a free move or free double crochet without ending. After that, you will meet to make the hams, the opening of the hams of our dress. So note, we are increasing at chain 3. That is where we are putting two together and then we proceed and respect the whole other pattern where there is a chain, just chain 1 then jump to the other set. So continue working. I'm going to meet you at the end of this round and at the end of the, the second round of three double crochet. This is what we have so far. Okay, the yoke of our dress is ready and you can see I have already placed the marks uh, around to divide the opening of the ham and uh, the body of this dress. So when you come here, we have already, this is the back of the dress. We have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five blocks plus this are half here and this are half, they become six. When we come this other side, this is the ham. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus this are half and this are half here, they become seven. Then this is the front part of the dress. It is also adding six blocks. Remember, we, we can count them one, two, three, four, plus this are half, and this other one here, they become five. Then we are going to improve to make to create another block here by handing four chains because we already have four, two here, two here, plus four. We get eight, just like these blocks here. All these are made of eight blocks. So when we fold our work, this is how it will look like. This is how the dress will look like. So that we can see these are the hams, the opening of the hams, and this is the body. So we will start working part of the body. So we are not going to turn our work anymore. We will proceed fourth ones or forward. So we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So by sending four, we are trying to create another block so that all the blocks can be the same size. Now we come here in the then double, sorry, in the, we come here and put our slip stitch. One, two, three. We put our slip stitch here in this chain. So we have our block there, then we chain three, one, two, three, and then we move on. We start working the dress. Sorry, we put a double crochet here. Just the usual pattern, then chain one. So these are two. 
chain one, come to the next stitch, continue working until you get where there is a mark where we are going to and do the closing and form the opening of the hem, our first hem. So you just follow the rule, three double crochet. If you meet a chain like this one, you just chain one and then cross over. So we have arrived where we have our mark, so we are going to put, to remove the mark. After removing the mark, we put double crochet here, then we chain one and move straight to the other part where we have the mark and put hand double crochet where we have removed the mark. This is the spot where we've removed the mark. So we put hand double crochet and we continue working. Continue working. So until we get to the other mark to create the other part of the hand. Once you meet this chain, kindly respect it by putting a chain there. Then you proceed. You meet, continue, you meet where we have the other mark. We've arrived where we have the other mark. So we are going to put a double crochet. Then we chain one and get rid of this mark so that we can be able to work properly. Cross over, cross over and remove the other mark and put double crochet in this space. Also put double crochet, continue Working. We have arrived at the place where we made four chains. Remember, we are creating a block like this, so we are going to put the four double crochet in every chain. So we have one, you can see there are now three, one, two, three, then another one. Then we close our work with a slip stitch here, and we have we now have a block like this one. If you count this, there are eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The same to this. So you chain one, two, three, and put double crochet, and you keep on respecting this chain here. So you continue working until we get to the part of the opening here. I'll show you what you are going to do when you get here. So we've raised the part of the hand paste where we chained one. So what we are going to do under this opening of the hand is we are going to put 
when the book rusher then we move on to the other part of the block and that is how our work will look like and we continue chain one where you are named down to chain one and continue working sorry continue working so you do the same when you do to the other half it is part of the hand and make two you finish this round and make two more rounds then i'll meet you to show you what we are going to do next okay we are going to close with a slip stitch here at the end of this round and then chain one two three now after chaining three we are going to put in double crochet on top of every stitch that we made earlier and soon in the video now when you come here you don't put uh, a chain but you put two double crochet together then you proceed putting double crochet until the end of this round as has demonstrated in the video so in a time you come across this space you do you put it two together remember we are growing the skirt of our dress the space you put it two together and remember not to skip the chain so you put a stitch there or a double crochet there you put two together in this is where we made the chain earlier and don't forget to put a double crochet on top of this double crochet that is hiding in here so this is how your work will look like continue until the end of the round we have arrived at the end of the round i've also made three chains so i'm going to show you what we are going to do Just please make sure these are three chains. After you have made three chains, you make three more double crochet. And the chain is counting. So we have four in number one, two, three, four. Then we chain one. Then we skip one, we come to the next and put a double crochet and continue, we make more four double crochet. You can see we have them already. So what we are going to do here is we chain, uh, we chain one, skip the chain go to the next and put on the book crochet we have arrived at the end of the round we are going to join our work with a slip stitch then chain one two three and this chain is counting as a double crochet so we will do four more to make them five two three four five after you make a five double crochet you chain one you chain one then you skip one you skip this and go to the next and you put on double crochet and then you put the five one two three four 
five. Then you chain one. Then you skip one. Go to the next and put five double crochet. Two. Three. Four. Five. Chain one. Then you skip. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Skip this and put a double crochet. Put five of them. So after every five double crochet, you chain one and skip one. Skip this. Go to the next. Continue working until the end of the round. This is how your work should look like. Okay, we've completed the round. I've also put the slip stitch and the chain. We are going to chain three. One, two, three. Then from there you continue putting double crochet. You put five double crochet just like you are doing in the other row. After five double crochet, you separate them with a chain. One. Chain, you skip and go to the other pair of five. Separate them with that chain because there is a chain here. Then you proceed. So this is what you get. Continue working until the end of this round. Okay, we have approached the end of the round. We are now going to put a slip stitch and repeat row three here where we are putting double crochet everywhere. One, two, three. So we are going to put double crochet on every stitch that we made or on double crochet that we made earlier. And once you reach where we have the chain, we put two double crochet together. So here is the chain, put two double crochet together. And remember, this chain here, don't skip it. Continue and finish the round. We've arrived at the end of the round. I've already joined the work and chained three. So we are going to put 
six in double crochet separate and in the chain after every six in double crochet you separate with one chain chain one skip one then make six more This is what you get. Continue and finish this round and another round is similar to this. Then you meet and change or decide what to do. This is how far we have gone. Now from here, you are going to continue with this pattern here where we are putting double crochet through and when we get where there is a, a chain, we put two double crochet together so uh, you continue with the work when you come here you put two double crochet together and when you are through with that round you start now chaining this set of these are six so the next set will be of seven and you go two rounds then after two rounds you repeat this pattern here where we are putting two double crochet in the chain which is here so i'll catch up with you after you have done uh, those three rounds that is uh, this round of increasing to double crochet here and then you come to pair of seven desperate and by a gap you go two rounds then i'll catch up with you okay this is how far we have gone we have completed the three rounds now we are going to join our work with a slip stitch then from there we are going to crochet in nine then we put a chain and then we skip and start another pair of nine another set of nine so i'm going to put the last double crochet here Then from there, I join at the land chain here. Then chain three, one, two, three. Then that is one. Then two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. After nine, we chain one, then you skip one, go to the next, and you put a double crochet. Sorry, you have to chain one, chain one, then you skip this, go to the next. And make another group of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
then chain one and skip skip this go to the, the other one one two three four five six seven eight one two three four then this is the land slip back slip back across to the other side Continue and finish the round and then you go another round the same. We will meet to see what we are going to do next. So you finish this round and you take another round. This is our work so far. I have already done the two rounds I told you to make and I've also handed another round. And if you can look at these uh, chains here, I have not done any increases so far because our wind, the dress wind has become too wind. So what we are going to do is we will continue with the free pattern for more two rounds. Then we are going to see whether we are going to increase or not. So what we are going to do now is you will be putting four double crochet then a chain you skip one then four double crochet a chain like that like that i'm just going to show you what i mean so you get your work here sorry you do the final touch you put a, a slip stitch at the band chain here then after that you chain one, two, three. So you go one, that is two, sorry, two double crochet because the scene is also counting three, four. After doing four, you chain one and skip one, go to the next and put four double crochet following one another, not together, but following one another. This is what you get. So you chain one again, go to the other set of nine. One, two, three, four, then you chain one and skip one. Go to the next. Chain one. You can see what we are getting. What our work is coming out. Go to the next. Two. Three, four, five, sorry, you chain one, then skip one, go to the next. There is a chain here, you chain one. Then you proceed and it crochet or put it for double crochet following one another. Then you chain one, then skip this and go to the next.
So you have to continue and complete two rounds and no increasing anymore because the dress has become too wind. So we are not going to increase anymore until we make around three rounds and see how it is behaving. Continue working. This is how far we have gone in making the baby dress. You can see how beautiful it has turned to be. Now we are going to do the finishing down here. But I want you to note that since the time we started making pairs of four at this area, I have made one, two, three, four, five rows. And if you wanted, you can extend yours to make it longer. But for mine, I have made four from the time one, two, three, four, five, six. I have made six from the time we started branching and having a set of four, a set of four. So if you want, you can extend yours. Now I am going to show you what kind of finishing we are going to make at the hinge here. So we continue working. So we will do the finishing of this round by putting the double crochet plus a slip stitch then from there we yeah sorry a chain then a slip stitch at the third chain as we've always been doing then from there we chain one then we move to the other stitch here and make a single single crochet and another one so there are three because we have the chain here. These are three. Then here we make a full double crochet. This is the last chain here. Then in the gap here we make three full double crochet. One, two, three. And then from there we go to this stitch and make a full double crochet then we start working single crochet two times sorry 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 so we will join our work with a slip stitch at chain three as we've always been doing then we chain to one two from there the, these two chain we put a half double crochet in the two chain then in the fourth chain we put a double crochet and in the gap we put three double crochet Then when we get in the first chain here, we still put a double crochet. Then from there, we continue with a half double crochet. So this is what we get. Then from there, we come to this last chain here and put a half a double crochet. And in the gap, we put three double crochet. Then this chain here should also get double crochet. Then from there, it's a half, two and a half double crochet. You can see what we are getting. And we continue. Now here we put a full double crochet, then three double crochet in the this gap here or space, followed by the first chain should always get also a double crochet. Then from there it is two a half double crochet.
Then guru double crochet, three double crochet, zero the first stitch here should you come with a full double crochet, then from there is a two a half double crochet. So this is what we are getting as the ending of our work. Continue working until the end of the round. We've come at the end of the round. This is how our work looks now after putting the hand pattern. Now we are going to put, to do the final work and put a slip stitch so that we can do the finishing of the arm. So as usual, this is the gap. So here, because it is the last one, we will put four double crochet. One, two, three, four. Then we put a slip stitch right down here. Chain one. And then we cut our yarn. We cut our yarn and pull through. After pulling through, we are going to hide this thread to make the work look beautiful. So you just pull through. Then you pull it. And they cut it completely carefully. Uh -huh. Then from there, this is now how our dress looks like. We are now going to do the finishing on the arms. You can see the hedge that we have already made. It's looking beautiful and fabulous. Fabulous for the baby. Now we are going to do the finishing on this side of the arms. Okay, we've reached the side of the arm. We are going to do the finishing this side. The way I have already done one side. This is what I have done. Now we will go down and then do finishing of the other arm together. And then from there, we are going to put the chain our belt, the belt for our dress. So let's start working. This finishing that you can see on this arm, and note it is slightly different from the finishing that we made down here. So we will start by making a slip, slip knot. And from there, we go to the do this part of the ham, the ham paste. Then we take, we stick uh, at the middle here, and get the slip stitch. <coughs> sorry, get our slip stitch from here. Then from there, we chain two. One, <coughs> two. Then on this one here, the chain is here, we just put a half double crochet. Put a half double crochet until we get to this part. We come to this other one here, kindly note what you are doing. This one here, we put another half double crochet. Then we come to this, we put a half double crochet. Then we continue with a half double crochet. Until we get to this part. Note there's a difference between what we did down here and what we are doing in the hand. So when we come here, we put three double crochet together. Mm 
make sure you don't skip here you put a half double crochet then continue until you get to the, this other space remember it is half, the half double crochet through out until when you get to this gap here where you put three double crochet together or in the this same space And this is what we are getting. Continue working until the end of the round. We have arrived at the end of this round. So we are, go we are going to continue with the half double crochet. But don't skip this. Then from there we put a slip stitch, chain one, then cut the yarn. Cut the yarn, pull through, and then we are going to hide the tail later. This is what we get. This is how the hand looks like after we have made it. We are going to make the belt uh, for, uh, for the for our dress, and I want to decorate it with these two beans. I have a smaller crochet with this, which is zero point nine nine zero millimeters, is the one that I'm using to pull through this thread just carefully. But if you have something better that can help you, you can use it. So, just want to put the second one. Just hook it so at the end. Make sure you hook. It is a bit difficult, but you just zero through. Then you get the other. I have two the uh, yarn that I'm going to to make use in making this belt. So you just use it, pull the two through. Just slowly. Yeah, I'm done. It has worked. So we just pull through. These are the two yarn that we are going to use to make this. And make the, the belt for our dress as the tie when they are equal or you have cut and they are equal you just make a knot so that they don't slip out those are the two beans i'll increase the the knot to make it a bit bigger just as soon in the video this work needs a lot of patience. If you don't have it patient, then it's not your talent. Sorry. So we are done. We can't move out even if we post. So what we are going to do is tie, give another tie so that we can cut the remaining 
yarn to make the, 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 the belt look neat. Then from there, you take the bigger crochet, this is four millimeters, and you start working. You make as many chains as you want for your dress. Sorry. One, two. We are not counting this. You make as many as possible. If you want the the belt to be long, it will depend. Just make enough for this area, this area of the dress here. Just make enough. Continue working and make enough. And see mine so continue working we are going to finish this part of the dress just from here uh, to here and then from there we will start putting the belt and the dress will be good to go so what you do you just come here on top here this first chain here can see it this double crochet which is here after you get it that way you put your yarn of course you have already made the slips the, the slip knot then you chain one then two remember you chain as soon in the window you come to the next you chain here Put another stitch, continue. You can see what we are getting. This is the tail. You tail it. Make sure you tail the tail. Just cross it as shown in the video. And see what is coming out. And then just go down. You can't skip this stitch here. The better you put even up to there. Then you move. To just continue changing your work. Sorry. When you come here, you just put a slip stitch like that, then another slip stitch. Not a slip, yes. Just as soon in the video. Okay, you come on the other side now. Don't skip this.
Nyonjuk át az egyen. Then you go through. After pulling through, you tie the two. Let me get the last box so much. Tie the two properly and then don't pull too much. Then get your crochet. And then bring them inside. Bring the two inside. Get the needle hook. And just taming them. We are just trying to tame this tree. Once they come there, you can now use your scissors to cut them. So this is our work. This is our work. That's how it looks like. Now we are going to use the belt. Okay, we are now going to insert the belt to the dress, oh, sorry, and to the dress or the, the belt that we made earlier. So you just get a safety pin and hook the, hook the belt or any other tool that you have. You hook the belt and remember to be safe. Then from here, you come and look for the main row. The main row is here. So you just insert your hook and move. Move like that. Sorry. You move like that. And soon in the video. Just move with the belt. Make sure to pull until you lay the small size so that the belt can take you round or can go round. You can see what is happening. And you just keep on alternating. In working, we have now reached the back of the dress. Sorry for focusing badly. We have the back. Continue moving. I have reached the front again. Here there is sharing of the, the space between 
the two sides of the belt, the two ends of the belt. So that is the belt. We are already done. I've also made, I have made uh, a belt for the back. At the back here, we are not going to use the back ones. We will just use a lace like. We have the same way we made the belt. This is the lace that I have made. So what we are going to do is we are going to hook it. This one is smaller in thickness. It's not as thick as this one. And it's the one we are going to use for this part of the back here. We will not use the buttons. So what you do is you insert the through this hole here. You insert your pin and pull through. After you are pulled through, you remove the pin from that side. You come to the other side. This will be moving. They are the same way. The same way you tie your shoelaces. They are the same way you tie your shoelaces. You come here and insert in this hook. This is here. Then it is X pattern. You come to the opposite and insert. Then you go to the other side, the opposite who is here, this one here, don't skip, you insert, then from there you go to the other hole, this is opposite, that one, they are the same way we tie our two laces, this is a dress lace, you can see how I'm moving with it. Don't skip anything. If you skip, there will be a problem. Continue working. You need to close here. Okay, have done. Have got completed. So I get, I remove the pin. And this keep it safe. Safety measures are very, very important when working or when executing your talent. You must make sure that you are safe and also those who are in your environment are as safe. And if you are dealing with the learners, nurturing this talent, kindly ensure also they are as safe. If they use the scissors, they keep safe. They should not play around with the crochet or scissors because these are tools which might cause harm if mishandled. Mm. We are through with our dress. Uh, you can see we are not going to use the buttons. The dress is just going to go and it is beautiful. All what you need is to adjust it for the baby. You can see. This is a beautiful dress that we've made. We are through with the round. Now we are going to put a slip stitch at the band chain here. Then from there we chain one, two, three, and put and double crochet on top of the double crochet that we made earlier. This time we are making part of the belt. So you chain one, you skip one, go to the next two and make two double crochet following one another. We are making part of the belt. Chain one, skip one, go to the next double crochet and make a double crochet on top, two of them following one another because this will be the part of the belt.
continue working until the end of this round. Continue working. Sorry, we will go back here. We've made us a chain. This is not allowed. They are supposed to be together. So in crochet work, it is just correcting small mistakes so that your work will look smart. So this is what we have to have. Continue working till the end of the round. Okay, we are going to close our work with a slip stitch at the third chain here. Then from there we make a round of three double crochet. We have chain three, then we put a double crochet all over, including the chain here. We just put the hand that way and move on. Every space must get under the crochet, including the chain that you are making. I'm sorry, let me focus my camera. You have approached the end of the round. We are now going to chain one and put a slip stitch on the band chain that we made earlier. Then from there, we chain three, one, two, three. At this point, we are going to put in double crochet in every space of our work. We have already created part of the belt, so we just continue putting double crochet in every place where it deserves, including the chain that you are making. So you just put in double crochet that way and move on. This is our work looks like, so we move on until the end of the round. Continue working until the end of the round. And also remember, after every 20 double crochet, you put the two double crochet together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, these are 14. So after every 20, you put the two double crochet together. That is 15, I'm sorry, that is 16, 17, 18, 19. Then here we put two double crochet together. Remember, this is the skirt now of the dress. So two double crochet together and uh, continue working. And after every 20 double crochet, the 20th one, you put the two double crochet together. You have approached the end of the round. This is our 20th space. So we are going to put two double crochet together. Then from there, at the land chain that we made here, the land is the uh, chain, we put a cross. A, a, a slip stitch, then we chain three, one, two, three. Then from here, we put a double crochet, and then another double crochet in the same space. Then we skip to the other double crochet, and we put another double crochet so that you have four to uh, four standing together. Then chain one, skip one, go to the next double crochet, put a double crochet. Then after putting double crochet in the next double crochet, we put two together, two together, and see what I have done. 
then a single double crochet in the next stitch then you chain one and skip this skip one go to the next put a double crochet then come to this the following stitch put two double crochet together then another double crochet following then you chain one and skip one go to the next double crochet put a single double crochet in the following one put it two together then go to the next double crochet and make them four so you can see there are four then you chain one and skip and repeat the same same pattern So this is the pattern that we have continue working until the end of the round okay we have approached the end of the round if you can get here and realize that you are lacking some stitches to do execute the pattern what you do is you just put two together in one chain and another thing so that you have a chain here to skip so we are going to chain one and then move two and put a double crochet in the next stitch then chain three one two three and in this juncture we are going to continue a free double crochet without doing any addition so you just move on putting free double crochet until the end of the round and we are not handing anything just move and when you come where there is a chain like this one you respect it by putting another chain no addition continue working until the end of this round then I'm going to show you what you are going to do next this is our work so far so we are going we have finished the round so we are going to put in double crochet all round including these spaces where we are chaining one you put a double crochet so let's show you what we are going to do you chain three one two three oh sorry i'm sorry let me focus my camera so you chain this is where we put our slip stitch you chain one two three then it is double crochet all over this time without and don't put across this way just put under here ensure that you are putting double crochet every space So when you come to this space, don't put your double crochet that way, that is wrong, you put in the chain here. Proceed and finish this round, 
I'll meet you here to show you what we are going to do next.